Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about Victors in the Plain. What is a Victor? A Victor is a quantity or phenomenon that has two independent properties, magnitude and direction. The term also denotes the mathematical or geometrical representation of such quantity. Examples of vectors in nature are velocity, momentum, force, and electromagnetic field. Different ways to describe a vector. Number one, magnitude and angle. For example, 15 newton at 45 degrees relatively at x axis so we're going to draw it in our graph this is the x and y coordinates so this is the vector force with 15 newton and an angle of 45 degrees another example force is equal to 200 newton at angle of 245 degrees so, in our Cartesian plane, angle with 245 degrees found at third quadrant. So, this is our vector with force of 200 newton with an angle of 245 degrees. Another way to describe a vector is by expressing by its components. For example, F sub X is 20 newton and f sub y is 40 newton. If we're going to draw it in our graph, it looks like this. As you can see, all the components are positive, so the vector lies in the first quadrant. Another example, f sub x is negative 20 newton, and f sub y is 30 newton. So, where is the victor lies? Yes, it lies in the second quadrant because f sub x is negative and f sub y is positive. Next, we're going to discuss about represent victors as directed line segment. Force and velocity has a magnitude and direction. So, we can use a directed line segment which is a vector. For example, vector PQ. P is the initial point and Q is the terminal point. So this is vector PQ. Okay, let's answer some problems involving directed line segment. Let U be represented by the directed line segment from point P at 0, 0 to point Q at 3, 2. And let V be the directed line segment from point R at 2, 2 to point S at 5, 4. Show that U is equal to V. To find the answer, we're going to get the magnitude and direction of both directed line segments. So first, we're going to find the magnitude and direction of directed line segment U. So to find the magnitude, use the distance formula. To find the direction, use the slope formula. So, we're going to solve first the directed line segment U. And this is our formula. The square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then, let's substitute all the points of directed line segments U into our formula. So, we have the magnitude of the directed line segment which is equal to the square root of 13. Next, we're going to find the direction of the directed line segment U by using the slope formula. So, the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and the slope is equal to 2 thirds. Next, we're going to solve the magnitude and direction of directed line segment V. So, we're going to substitute the points into our formula. 
Therefore, the magnitude of directed line segment V is square root of 13. Next, we're going to solve the direction of the directed line segment V by using the slope formula. So, the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we're going to substitute all the points into our formula. The slope of the directed line segment V is equal to 2 thirds. Therefore, vector PQ and vector RS are equal vectors because they have the same magnitude and direction. Next, we're going to discuss about how to find the component form of vectors. Suppose that we have the initial point at point P, P1, P2, and the terminal point at Q1, Q2. So, to find the component form, we're going to use this formula. Q sub 1 minus P sub 1 and Q sub 2 minus P sub 2. For example, find the component form and the magnitude of the vector V that has initial point at 4, negative 7 and terminal point, negative 1, 5. So, to find the component form, we're going to substitute the points into our formula. Q sub 1 is negative 1 minus P sub 1, which is 4. And Q sub 2 is 5 and minus P sub 2, which is negative 7. Okay, let's solve. Negative 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 5. 5 minus negative 7 is equal to positive 12. So this is our component form, negative 5 and 12. And this is the terminal point. If we get already the component form, then the initial point found at the origin, 0, 0. Next is we're going to find the magnitude of vector V. So we're going to get the square root of negative 5 squared plus 12 raised to the power of 2. And the magnitude is equal to 13. So this is the way how we're going to get the component form of the vector and finding the magnitude of the vector. Next, we're going to discuss about the vector's operations. The first operation is scalar multiplication. In operation with vectors, numbers are usually referred to as scalars. For example, this is v, this is one half v, this is two v, this is negative v, the opposite of v. This is negative 3 halves v. This is the formula in a scalar multiplication. Ku is equal to the component of u sub 1 and u sub 2, which is equal to ku sub 1 and ku sub 2. Next operation is vector addition. To add two vectors geometrically, Position them so the initial point of one coincides with the terminal point of the other. This is U plus V. Next operation is vector subtraction. To represent U minus V geometrically, position them with the same initial point. The difference is the vector U from terminal point V to terminal point U. This is u minus v. Okay, next is the component form of vector operation. So u plus v, this is equal to u sub 1 plus v sub 1 and u sub 2 plus v sub 2. u minus v is equal to u plus negative v is equal to u sub 1 minus v sub 1 and u sub 2 minus v sub 2. Okay, let's have some examples. So let u is equal to the component of negative 3 and 4, and v is equal to the component of 4 and 2. We're going to find 3u 
Next, we're going to find u minus v. And lastly, we're going to find 2u plus v. So first, we're going to solve 3u. Okay? 3 times the component of negative 3 and 4. We're going to distribute 3 inside the component form. Okay, 3 times negative 3, which is equal to negative 9, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And the answer of 3u is negative 9 and 12. Next is we're going to answer u minus v. So u is the component of negative 3 and 4 minus v, which is the component of 4 and 2. Let's subtract. Negative 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 7. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And the answer is equal to the component of negative 7 and 2. Next, we're going to solve 2u plus v. So, 2 times the component of negative 3 and 4 plus v, which is the component of 4 and 2. Let's solve first 2u. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Plus the component of 4 and 2. So negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Therefore, the answer for 2u plus v is equal to the component of negative 2 and 10. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With this... Your mind is formidable force. Your life will begin to transform better as you fill it with happy thoughts. Thank you for watching.